Only on CBS This Morning, we have an in-studio look at the last privately owned painting by Leonardo da Vinci. The portrait is called Salvatore Mundi, which means savior of the world in Latin. It was created about 500 years ago and was thought to have been destroyed. The painting was long mistaken for a copy of the artist's work because it was heavily painted over. Its restoration makes it one of about 15 known surviving paintings by the renowned artist. And there's more. Christie's Auction House is selling this painting this month in New York City. It's expected to go for, listen to this, $100 million. Bidding, they say, will start at $70 million. Alan Wintermute is Christie's senior specialist for Old Master Paintings. He joins us now with Salvatore Mundi. Good morning, Alan. Good morning. Sort Thank of nerve-wracking standing here because you don't <laughs> accidentally hit it. But it's considered the Holy Grail because? Well, it, it was long known to have existed, uh, but it was known through copies and, and there are drawings for it by Leonardo in, in Windsor Castle. But it, it had been uh, uh, completely obscured by paint, as you said, and, and it, was, um, it, it was sort of hidden in public view. I mean, it was in private collections but you couldn't see really almost any of the surface and it was thought to have been lost. Any serious questions about its authenticity? None, really. Uh, it, it was, as I said, almost completely overpainted, but once that was removed after its rediscovery, it was it, the, the quality of it became very evident and really there hasn't been um, a, any real question about there its Leonardo authenticity. Leonardo didn't finish many paintings, did he? No, he finished very few. He was not prolific and he was uh, exploratory and, and a perfectionist and he often gave up what he had started. So there are only about a dozen paintings that are finished. Why is it called the male Mona Lisa? Well, it's painted around the same time as Mona Lisa. It's painted around 1500 and his technique is such that he, he, he paints these things over a long period of time. So they this and the painting of Mona Lisa probably overlap. Well, you do but see he has that absolutely yeah, uh, uh, absolutely. Yes. I mean there's the yes. enigmatic smile, there's the soft smoky folk uh, uh, sort of shadowing in the face. Uh, all of that is very characteristic of, of what you find in Mona Lisa as do well. Do you already have interest in this painting? We, we do. Yes, we do. We're, yeah. we're do people working have to very sign hard. A financial release form that they can afford this. <laughs> uh, How do you know? Uh, uh, well, we do a little investigation uh -huh. before, before so you people do have bid. Can yes. you tell us where the painting has been held in a, by a private family? Has it? Been yeah, it's it owned been? by it's Living owned room? it's owned by a European private collector. It, it emerged in 2005. It was it was found and cleaned by dealers who then subsequently sold it, uh, and, and so it's changed hands. But it's owned by a European Why private collector. Um, well, we kind of went to them and convinced them that this was a good moment. Price it's a picture right. that, to be honest, we were looking at and trying to think of ways to get to for a long time because it's it's such a great. Your best thing. guess it'll go for more than a hundred million dollars. Well, that is certainly my hope. <laughs> and uh, it, yes, I would guess it will. It's, Who it's are the a, people that have expressed interest? And by that, do I mean Oprah Winfrey? Yeah, she's a big art collector. <laughs> well, we'd like her to come look at it. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, 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 significant art collectors, um, uh, people who have an interest in Leonardo. There have been a, a variety. Do you think it'll people. be in the United States? How about that? Do well, it, it absolutely could be, but it, really anyone could bid and it can go anywhere ultimately. But there, there is only one Leonardo painting in the United States in the National Gallery in Washington. Everything else is in Europe, so it would be it would be terrific if it stayed here. Does it make you tingly, Alan, looking it, at it? I have to say it does. It is really exciting. I, I've seen it for a few years now, and every yes. time I see it, it has tremendous presence yeah, and power. Well, we Alan could split it up, maybe. And I agree. Thank I you so much. Thank you very much. Thanks yes. for having us. Really great yeah. to have you here.